how to record the story. Sing that quiet, share your jingbu, bubu kao sen. So now tell me, uh, okay, start from Jia Ling. Uh, which source uh, do you think is the most reliable that show that I'm a police officer? And which source show the least? Jia Ling, your turn. Um, the one where you selfie yourself with your uniform and your name tag. <laughs> okay, fine. Which one is the most reliable? No, no, that one is the most reliable. The least reliable is wait, the wait, which one selfie? Yeah, the one yeah, with... because it shows your name tag and your face. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, I heard wrongly. Then which one is the least? Um, uh I think uh I better hold on to my chair before I fell down. <laughs> yes. know, eh? So all not real la for the next one hour I want I wouldn't want to talk to you already, very sad. Okay, fine. Wang Kang, which one do you think is the most? I will ask everyone, okay, joke aside, huh? let's be serious. Huh? Yes, Wang Kang. Most, most reliable. Uh, the same one is Jiaying. No, no, based on the picture, the picture that I show you, which one do you think is the most reliable? The selfie, the name tag. Okay, surprisingly. The one the least reliable. Uh, so you agree with Jiaying? Uh, uh, no, the, the, <laughs> no, no, the, the, the certificate because you can just like Photoshop them put your name there. Very true. Very true. Agree. Gavin, what about you? Uh my thing is the award for the most reliable. Yeah. And so for least reliable. reliable is the most reliable is which one? Uh, the most reliable is the awards. The awards, ah. Uh. Yeah, oh, the awards. Thank you. Yeah, and the least reliable is the Facebook post, uh, with the mask. Uh. Ah, yes. In fact, there, there's someone to say that. True. Okay. Min Min, which one? So happy, you know, you know why she's so happy, you know? Just like say, well, I tell you, uh, to all my classmates here, uh, all the photos are made. He has so much, so much, like Jackson Wayne, so much handsome. No, no, no. Okay, Jack, Min Min, let's go. Oh, wait, what was the question? Which photo is the most reliable to show that I'm a police officer? And which oh, is the least? Oh, like the photo when you like uh, take the award. Ah, uh, okay. And the least one, the least reliable is like your selfie, maybe. With the three awards in front of me, right? No, 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 like uh, with the cap and the mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Okay, so no, no, that get to you, uh, the four of you. Let's hear from Raymond. Raymond, which one do you think is the most reliable photo? Well, for me, the most reliable one would be the one with like you holding the rewards, like with, like, with and, my officer, right? Yes, as uh, and for me, the uh, the least reliable one would be like you know, when the last picture you showed us has a certificate, and like, especially when the fonts, the, the word fonts are so different. And wow. it's and it's very e easily photoshopped and like and because the white background, so the, to me that's the most most least uh, least reliable. Join the police force. You like a uh, Sherlock Holmes. You can be you know who is Sherlock Holmes, right? Oh uh, yeah, the yeah the, the, the detective in England. Uh, also that one, my cousin. Uh one can't don't look at me like that. Why you very racist? Uh? Why the Amor cannot be my cousin, man? <laughs> the one guy was like looking, oh seriously. Okay, joke aside, uh, thank you so much. Uh, the reason I use that, uh, so Jiaying, as I promise you, right, whatever I'm teaching, I want to bring in real life. So uh, I got to tell you, Gavin, some of my students in the class, Uncle Raymond, don't bluff. Uh, show, you just want to show off that your awards. That's one of the reasons. Okay, I'm very honest. That's one of the reasons I want to show off because when you are doing well, when you have the right time to show off, you need to show off. Why? Number one, 
The show off is not to tell the whole world that you're doing that. That's the one thing. Just look at Albert Einstein, Thomas Edison. He went through all the influence, reliability, usefulness, and cross referencing and all the insertion of the, the sources. And finally, he got the light bulb, got the E equal MC squared, right? And he showed to the world. He leave a legacy. So that is something that is very important in life. Honestly, no, you're just only 15 to 16 years old. What are you going to show off? The first thing that you need to show off now is honestly, your next year, January next year, you are going to show off your result. The two results you're going to have, honestly. The first is your PSRE, the second is your O level, and then followed by your A level or your polytechnic. These are all called the certificates. That one cannot bluff on. True now, that one is yours. It's yours for your what your hard work. Okay. Now. I got a lot of things to share with you today. Uh. So if you can, uh, okay, next thing is that uh, if you are going to continue with Uncle Raven, this is called the Student Performance Aid Appraiser. Okay, Every end of the month, you will get this. Honestly, you will not get this in most of the tuition center or even in school. So I really paid. In fact, yesterday, I made it. Yesterday, a whole night about, after I went to my mother in laws house to eat a pen I came back. Uh, it took me about one hour plus. Uh, to submit about 35 students person, uh, student person, uh, per, student appraiser performance. Sorry, student performance appraiser, SBA. Okay, so one come for example, these are the things, that's a quick one. Huh? So if this will be last year for the next eight or nine rounds. Okay, so these are the things uh, um, that is written in Chinese, attitude, behavior, creativity, discipline, understanding, and the last one, homework. Okay, so uh, your parents no need to kind of ask me whether my daughter Mian Mian or Wang Khan or Jia Ying got do homework or Gavin or Raymond pay attention and turn on the camera. So you can see these are the stuff. These are yes, almost all these. Okay, you will read this by end of today. I will send up to you. Okay, even though you're attending two lessons, I will just send up. So this one is just for example. Only. Of course, you don't attend my English lesson, right? So I cannot put reading, ma. Correct now. I will say need to further improve on your SPQ for example, Jia Ying, don't mind, ah. Then one can maybe you need to uh, improve your, your, your inference skill. Example only, okay? So this is what I will give to your parents. So at the same time, when you're submitting your homework, it's best you written down on a piece of paper, take your handphone, scan and send it to Uncle Raymond, okay? And the best, uh, I tell you, is to ask your parents' handphone to scan the picture. Just more, this more like Uncle Raymond said, he said you use your phone to send it to him. 就是告诉你, Mommy, Daddy, 我在课室里面, you pay attention to a bunker. Okay, that is the purpose. Now you understand reliability skills, the usefulness. Yes, I'm an English teacher. That's right. I speak very good English. Uh, emotional damage. Uh. So you like to join my English lesson most uh, well to come. Uh. Then we may also, oh my goodness, seriously, you call yourself English teacher. Why you cannot got problem, is it? Okay, right, let's move on. Uh. Um, Okay, this is the, the things I uh, have Okay, so no excuse. Uh, if I ask you to turn on camera, you don't one, twice, three times, that's it. Okay, and next, I would like to show you. Um, okay, let's go through the lesson now. I think we are behind for two to three lessons with this. So, like I say, I would like to really help you all to see how are we going to move further and faster. Okay. So, these are the questions uh, uh, Raymond and the rest of you are listening. These are the questions. I have not spot for 2023 yet. So give me some time, okay, to spot the questions for 20. Okay, this is the one I share with you all guys, right? Remember, Wang Kang? Can you still remember this one? NRIC floats the world. Gavin, can you still remember? It's very useful, right? Okay, you help you, right? Jia Ying, all right now. Right, it definitely help you, okay? So let's talk about the world. So instead of uh, doing chapter one, sorry, Instead of doing chapter one to seven, which is last year um, topics, I'm going to concentrate for the next two months to three months. Uh, I'm going to, I would like to cover eight, nine, 10, 11 for the next three months. Okay? So, 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 we want to hit while the iron is hot. We want to move faster than your school so that maybe at the somewhere after June, we can do more revisions. Okay, but in fact, now every lesson there's a revision, there's a homework. Huh? So, okay. So, let's what is work. Okay, look at chapter eight. Huh? You will know that uh, this is like uh, workers in the world with 5T. Then, we also for chapter, you see, for look at this chapter here, pay attention. Huh? For chapter eight, nine, 10, and 11, these are all the topics. In fact, it's very, very important, uh, leaders. 
Because if you are going for JC, all right, or even Poly, this eight last four chapter is super important. In fact, last chapter, surprisingly, there are students who, who, who like the chapter of this one, they end up going to uh, this uh, Polytechnic for security, cyber securities uh, uh, diploma in that, okay? It helps, uh, but not 100% of course, all right? But give you a basic foundation. So uh, that later on, I will add into the real one, like what I've, I've um, for example, in the police office, uh, police uh, duties, what I've shared with you all, certain things are not everything I can share with you, like how to prevent scammer. And one of the questions came out in uh, SBQ about scamming and fake news and all these things, okay? That we will share with you, not today, okay? Along the way. So, okay, take note, lah. this one. Now, don't worry, I will compile it into a PDF format. So, uh, if you're at home, you have a printer, you can print it out with all these topics here, okay? So, now we are talking about chapter 8, lah. Okay, we are going to cover chapter 8 already. Huh? That's today's lesson. So how do we respond? Okay, this is chapter 9. So I told you guys right, to come up some of the questions. I'm not sure you have done it before, uh, done it the last two weeks. Maybe you are still Chinese New Year, you got still uh, to catch up. So these are some of the questions. So I start with number, okay. Uh, why not just to, to, to make sure, sure that Uncle Raymond knows the topic. Okay, Wang Kang, from 1 to 14, right? I think that's 1 to 14. Huh? Yeah, one to 14. Can you just quickly pick one for me to do? If I will choose myself, then say, Uncle Raymond, you plan one. So of course, you know. So just choose one to 14. Um, 12. Okay, can you change another number? I got you right. Okay, no problem. How does globalization impact individual negatively? For example, I'm can we use no no racist, huh? Okay, one can no racist. Huh? Let's talk about China. What is the biggest impact to the individuals in China? Rong Fu, Rong Ming. Agree? One can you do history now? No, okay, then very hard to tell. If you look at Stalin uh, in a during the before World War II, uh, they, there's this thing called uh Gavin, you're doing history, right? Oh, you know about this uh, collectivization and industrialization, no? Remember? Yeah. Ah, so you know because of the industrialization, a lot of farmers was uh, were being told to join in the industrial revolution, right? Industrial right, and all nobody do farming. One kind, of, you know, right? As China start to boom into their economies, right? A lot of um, Xiangxia, right? A lot of farmers in their place, they decided to give up farming, too, ma, too, ma? One kind. Of. They all come to the city, right? To dwell and improve. So what is the individual negative? First, sorry, uh, I'm not saying anything. Uh, most of the farmer come to the city, usually are doing low-end job. True not? You think they can become a CEO of Jack Ma? Number one, because they do not have education. Three, uh? Number two, they do not know what is the technology. They don't love like Wang Kang. One of my ex neighbor, uh, he, she, they have a helper from Myanmar. Myanmar. Okay? Okay, Mimi, Mimi. The, my friend taught her how to press the lever. All right, press this very easy, right? Up and down and reach floor, correct? Right so she asked her to go downstairs. She was in 11 floor. She was on the I said, you take, take a lift down faster, correct? Right Fair. One hour later, she didn't come back. Scared? She went to the floor, she looked at the floor. You understand? She was standing in the floor. Don't know how to press the lever. You see? You see? Seriously, he does, she doesn't know how to press the lift. My friend taught her how to press the lift already. But you see, technology phobia. So globalizing impact individual negatively. Uh, number one is technophobia. Technology phobia. Agree now? Wang Kang and Mian Mian and Gavin and Jia Yin and Raymond. I'm not sure about your, your, old, your old folks. That means your grandparents. Uh, were they afraid to use technology? Do they know how to play Genshi? <laughs> Do they know how to play Call of Duty? Maybe they might play one four stone. You know what is four stone, right? Ah, uh, that ah, uh, that ah, that ah, that ah, that ah, that ah, all these things. You know how to play their games? Uh? Are you able to play their games? So, so individual negatively, that globalization affect the number one. Well done, ah, uh. good questions, ah. Uh. Wang Kang, the question you ask on number twelve is going to relate to me what I'm going to teach you later on in chapter eight. 
啊，王康 ，I never send WhatsApp to you in advance 啊 ，to to 跟你啊，狼狈为奸 ，to to to cheat that right？No 啊 ，Today I just ask you 呢啊啊 ，Okay， so now you understand 啊。You see all these fourteen questions 啊 ，I've been teaching the same piece of paper for ten over years already。所以我是苦困瓜烂熟，熟能生巧。So SS is not difficult to learn, how Raymond Gavin. Okay, not difficult to learn. All you need to do is really look put yourself into the position. Okay, remember ah, so then how? Okay, answer your questions. Of course, if you are want to continue to deal with number twelve, besides negativity or individual is what no, they have to give up. You are study geography, right? Wangka, ah, it's all related to geography, right? So now this piece of land supposed to be farming, right? Domestic animals and crops. Ah, now that the government wants to sell, you want to take back and say, sorry, now I don't want to do farming. I want to do industrial. Correct, ah? Oh, oh, how? The farmer, overseas, overnight, 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 overnight They do not know how the technology. You know what happens? Ah, Wang Kang. There are all these poly students. Ah, took their time of the VIA so called. Ah, you go to the hawker center and teach all the auntie, uncle, the 老板娘 and 老板呐 how to use PayNow. 哎呀，我不会用嘞，怎么用哈？哎呦，电脑我怕嘞，有 handphone 啊，我不会用嘞。哎呀，你还 cash 就可以了啦。And don't forget, ah, COVID nineteen, ah, cash 要动那个钱，等下中 COVID， 我怎么办？ Ah, now you pay way, pay now, pay anywhere. Ah, pay until my backside also got no money. Hi, ya, zao gao. So okay, negative ah. So technology is the main things that cause it ah. Okay, look at this one. Okay, now now I'm going to go through the slides ah. Pay attention ah. Chapter eight. I think last two weeks we talked about it also on the, ah, topics for this one. But so I'm going to dive in small. Hey, how come? Okay. Okay. So out of these six, right? I think I remember one count. I I remember that we we ask you to choose, right? Okay. So can we recap again, Raymond? One to six quickly. I'm going to go through the nineteen slide. So you just choose one to six. Oh, um. Wow, one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Which one do you think is the most important to you? Oh, uh, last time I said five. Le. Five. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Ah, uh, Jia Ying, just to recap, ah, uh, don't mind, Jia Ying. Um, I think last year I said six. Six. Ah, uh? ah, uh, Wang Kang. I think last year I said one. One. Ah, uh, Gavin. Last time I paid two transport. Two on transport. Ah, then then only to ask Mei Mei lah. Mei Mei will choose one to six ah. Okay, Mei Mei, which one you choose? Um, one. One ah. Okay, we shall see which one ah. Honestly, I told you right. Number one for for this twenty first century ah, and also also ah, Mei Mei and the rest of you ah, you can use this for your English for argumentative and expository essay questions ah. All right. So just. Remember technology because I also graduated from for my degree in technologies, alright. So ah, uh, definitely I support the transformation of technology is one of the most important thing. Jia Ying ah and Gavin, the first time when men discover technology is when they start to make fire. True not, when they use two stone ah, it's one of the technology. It's a very primitive, a very old age of technology. But this is where it started technology, when men ah. Get Raymond when men men start to do calculation how to do trading ah uh, instead of butter trade you know it's butter trade ah, not new you ah okay butter trade is okay ah ah men men you that kind nice cosmetic or you that kind hair gel I can exchange my or is Gavin you ten eggs I have I have a lot of eggs I can trade that's called butter trade ah right so this is then later they realize they use the the seashell they use uh, like China to use currency right. Then later they got bank notes. Ah, this is one way of call technologies. Ah, okay, to make the number two, three, four, five, and six work. But of course, I agree. Some of you will say transfer of knowledge, and that is where the trade. You see, you realize ah, chapter eight. Ah, remember, guys. Okay, Kevin. Remember, if you have exam in chapter eight, you just remember all the T effect. 
Gavin, can you type to the uh, for the class, please? The T effect. The T effect or me or whoever uh one come. The T effect. It must be fast on. So Gavin, you must be able to multitask uh, in my class book. You understand. Uh? So what is the T effect of with all these six things that you were allowed to have trading? And then training. Tuna, there's one of them skill future. One kind, I thought at first you might ask, you might want to test me on the one of the question called skill future. And skill future, you should know this topic is, have you heard of skill future? Yeah, it's, it's also in part of your social study, how Raymond and, and Jiang. Then you will, once you are able to train your work, workers well, you know, you can have this, uh, this uh, tour guide and then people, tourists will come to Singapore to visit you and to spend money and to make the economy better. So technology, you must trust that technology. Okay. If you feel like writing down, please write down. If you want to want to take a picture, Mei Mei, you want to take a picture, hello, Mei Mei. If you want to, Mei Mei, if you want to take a picture, tell me, Mei Mei. If you want to take a picture, tell me. Then I take, ah. <laughs> Mei Mei, why frozen lady? After you look at my face, you see her face. <laughs> you see her, Mei Mei. I see, uh, just now was like, Mei Mei was like, <laughs> Mei Mei, if you want to take picture, tell me how. Huh? Then you take my picture. Then can I uh, kawaii this? Okay. Transport is got to do with teamwork, uh, guys. Take notes, all right? Why? I will explain one by one later on. Okay. Do you know what is tax and tariff? Wang Kang? Do you know what is this word? Do you know what is FTA? Hey, write down, huh? I'm teaching you. Please write down, huh? FTA stands for Free Trade Agreement. Write down, please, write down. I hope you have a social study guide books or books inside to write down all these things. Tax and tariff is got to do with import and export tax. Just take note of these two words. It's actually a tax or duty to be paid on a particular cost of import and export. Okay, you know, one comes, Singapore governments are very anti-smoking, right, secret. Did I pronounce the word correctly, anti-smoking? Mayron, do you pronounce correctly anti-smoking or anti-smoking? Mm. Which one? Yes. Anti-smoking or anti? Anti, I think. Sorry, if you do your oral using anti, you're going to feel. Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, anti is an American way of pronunciation, anti. So British is anti, and you don't say mao tai, ah. I'll give you mao tai. Ah. I'll give you mao tai. Ah. I'll give you mao tai. Ah. <laughs> so you don't say Mao Tai, you say Mao Tea. Uh, okay, then you don't see uh data, you don't pronounce it data. Australian people will pronounce data, okay? Why Mali Kita? Okay, let's move on. Uh okay, uh Jai Ying and Gavins. Mian Mian and Wang Kang and Raymond, you know what is tariff ready? Uh? This word is very important. You will come out in SPQ. Uh. Take note, uh, write down uh, tariff. And this also will help you in your, what do you call your um, English, maybe a bit, uh, not much. Uh. Okay, transnational, this is very important. Uh. Transnational means that um, where you are trading with other countries. You know, because last few years, uh, the Huawei issue, right? I'll give it. You know the Huawei issue, right? The US stopped the trans uh, uh, boycott and uh, and kind of um, prevent Huawei to send in their technology, their handphone to US to sell, correct? Now. And then you know China, they also banned Google, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. There's no Google in China, correct? Right? Okay, yeah. Why? Uh, I, I love Google, no? But China, they got this pie too, correct? Now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Huh? Yeah, huh? then why? So you realize that uh, this is where you, what you're learning is in real life. I hope your teacher will bring all this to use. Uh, because later on, when you go to JC, you do GP, uh, general paper, they will be involved all this thing. Uh. So this chapter eight to the last chapter is going to be super important. I hope you guys pay attention in class. Uh. Seriously, confirm. Uh, the moment you start off with chapter eight, uh, confirm you will have a test of any of this. Trust me, it thing way through the uh. Okay, next transformation to third world and first world. If you've got the time to read Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, uh, one of the book, uh, very thick, 
uh, from third world to first world. That book is really to tell you everything about how Singapore from a global uh, fishing village to become today the one of the top best airport and your passport is number two in the world and the kind of things that are safe and sound uh, in a country like, like this. So Mimina, have you been to Malaysia before? No. So if I were to ask you now, let's say, okay, maybe now you graduated, uh, okay, you're adult already, okay? Then you don't love, so maybe uh, next week, uh, you have to go to Zilongpo KL uh, to, 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 to have a meeting. So you are the, the director of marketing, okay, maybe. After the, 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 the meeting uh, at say eight o'clock, do you dare to walk on the street in KL? Why? Because you talking to so by not being the two and poor people, safety or this correct. Uh, you infer, uh, you infer. Then you also want to cross check uh, with your colleague that, hey, is it true? Uh, this road cannot go, this street cannot go because got pickpocket, got robberies, got drug addicts, cost referencing. Now you get it? Oh, okay, take note. Uh. Next, number six, transfer of knowledge allowed to translate into many foreign languages, like Singapore, like that. We have Korean, we got Vietnamese, we got Mandarin, we got Arabic, you name it, we got French. Right? One, kind, one of the very good examples in Singapore is called the it right down children. International what? The second word will be what? Start with S. Not my S, huh? Which S? And end with L. If you so international what? What are they? I can't hear you. You mean? International. So we ask, not your ass, my ass, but S as in Singapore S. Okay. L, but if it's poorer, you also end with the S. So, so. International oh. school. Oh. Agree? Agree? We have French international school, we have Australian, we have Canada, we have British, we have Japanese, we have Korean, right? So you bring all these together. That is called globalization. International. We support woman she are international school. Do you know Marco Polo? You know who is Marco Polo? Remember, you know who is Marco Polo, right? Uh, also my yeah. cousin, also my cousin, uh, my great grand cousin. What's your problem? Cannot be what you racist. Uh? The Italian guy cannot be my cousin. Uh? <laughs> so you know Marco Polo already traveled all the way to China. That's called the Silk Road, right? Si Chou Zi Lu, right? Right. And then honestly, you think Marco Polo can go to China and speak Italian? Can we see that? You sure pretty sure did that? Can you imagine the Mongolia? Si Da, what are you talking about? Funny, funny, yeah. yeah. Uh, then imagine the Mongolian like one card is a Hugi, Hungi, Unji, Jafushi. You know, uh, if Marco Polo had this Google Translate, I say, talk to my phone. <laughs> True, that one card. Right? <laughs> they talk to my phone. So, I mean, at that time, they already had translator, but it's a human translator. So, it's language barrier. Okay, one of the reasons, uh, uh, one card, just like you say the negative, right? Individual, right? Huh, one card. It's one of the negative, is language barrier. True enough, right? Because honestly, what the, uh, the, 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 the individual sometimes, like you see, for example, uh, one car, I'm not sure whether you stay in HDB or condominium. You know, there's some uh, Bangladesh worker who sweep the floor, right? Huh? You sometimes, you, you don't know whether they can speak English or not, or when you speak to them in English, you don't know whether they understand, correct? Huh? Right? Same thing, right? And then I, I really have, honestly, uh, this is recording, uh, very sensitive. I cannot take it, uh, when you know this person who talk to you, uh, okay? So maybe we like a shi fan, okay? So maybe you my 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 like a mien, uh. So we uh, uh, say, say, maybe say, I want a bowl of noodles. Say please. Mien mien. Zhen dian zi zi, you don't unmute. How to speak? I don't hear you. I want a bowl of noodles. What? You want to eat what? You want to eat the noodles or the noodles? Then Mie Mie say, excuse me, can you speak English? Ah, what, what? You know, can you imagine this guy, uncle is speaking Hwawen, but he doesn't understand English, right? Wang Kang, right? So, what? I don't understand. You can speak Hwawen, right? Then, you know, uh, Gavin, sometimes Singaporeans, so, and then put on the Facebook, on the Storm, on the TikTok, and say, uh, wow, 
why why cannot speak English? As this is Singapore, no must speak English, no. Why you speak Mandarin? If you don't know how to speak English, please don't come to Singapore and work. What the ta 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 F M L G G. Do not give in. I think you have no right. Okay, I'm very serious. Uh. I, I really hate Singaporean like that. A small country doesn't really have a big heart. It's so hard and it really falls thing apart. And it's not very hard to do a sincere heart. Right. Can you imagine now uh, these, these Singaporeans uh, criticize this uncle who cannot speak English? Uh. Imagine you go to Europe, you go to France. Uh, I like the burger, one to buy one burger, the, the French person says, Sumo, Monsieur? Oh my goodness, speak to me in French, you see? Don't ever, because these topics is, may not be related to social studies so much, uh, children, but take note, uh, okay? As a human being, uh, you have no right to criticize people's ability and capability of whether they talk or not. Seriously, true, uh, especially a uh, handicap. You know, uh, uh, Jia Ying, the day when Uncle Raymond was driving uh, at the traffic light, I saw an old lady pushing the a trolley, uh, traffic light. Uh. So it's already blinking, it count five, four, three, two, one. Uh. So I really stopped there, I purposely stopped there and the car behind was about to call me, then when he saw the lady. Then the next car beside this one, sorry, I got a trigger finger. Uh, next car, the lady was, old lady was walking very slowly and she was so impatient. You know? I want to like what like 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 doing this the car jerking and to tell that old lady old lady to walk faster. I won't tell you he's driving a BMW. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. Huh? You have the ability to afford such a good car, but your mentality sucks. Huh? Do not. Then don't drive. Huh? Might as well take bicycle huh? or e-scooter. So wait, wait, then you must ask me, what got to do with number six or number seven or whatever it is? It all related. Why? Because very simple. Because of technology, make people to be so stressful. Because of technology, make people not cannot manage time well. Because of technology, everybody is running very fast. Hey, tell me, if you have a chance to speak to your grandparents, uh, when they were young at the time, their life is very smooth and relaxed. On No much technology, right? Uh, uh, teacher, I'm stuck in the train, the train broke down. Correct. Uh, the next thing, the technology will fresh up in the WhatsApp. The north south line technology, um, the, the train broke down. Three ma? Correct, uh, huh, Raymond. I know because I'm a disciplined teacher, I'm the one who always catch late comers. So my student even take picture and show me a uh, very cram a lot of people. You see, cross-referencing, time management. Makes sense, huh? Okay. I will do my best to relate most of the things to you. So when you when you do the question paper, I'll tell you, you will feel for the things. Then when you write, uh, you need an answer with be true things. You say, eh, yeah, it's true. What, what's wrong with your DM? He, he didn't ask me anything and then just gave me detention. Oh, this, I'm sorry, this is live recording. Uh, this is SUCK. Uh. Really sucks. I will take every really sucks, really sucks, sucks like a duck. Quack, quack. Uh, you don't drink water, you don't drink water, you don't drink water, then you don't drink water, then I got one case, uh, this boy was late, uh, he came to school. Late, uh, then I asked, I first thing, uh, my, my counselor, you know, got counselor give the paper, right? I say, stop, no. I asked him, why are you late? Uh, Mr. Shaw, uh, yesterday my grandfather was in ICU. Then I asked the first thing, then why you come? Wow, it's so touching. Though. The grandmother told him, Yeye现在在医院, I tell you, you know what I do? He was standing there, I was standing there, I do this. I bow to him. Then the next thing, take out your handphone. Huh? But I'm in school. No? I say, take out your handphone. He still don't take out until I have to use the F word. Fish, 
take out the handful and call your mommy now who is in the hospital. Check how is your grandfather. Pick up. Answer. Tears in his eyes. I was like, uh, I talk bad news on Jiayi. I talk bad news. You know what she's saying? Mr. Strong, my grandfather is out of ICU. Oh my God. Oh my God, right. I ever told you one of my students, right, since you mentioned that one of my students uh, was late for class. Uh, did I tell you this? Was late for class, came to the, go to the classroom. My colleague told him to get out of the classroom. Jiayi, you can you so I asked him, what happened? He said, oh, last night I went to my mommy's house. But my mommy boyfriend said, because my mommy and my daddy divorced. So the, the judge said, the custody will go to daddy. So my mommy boyfriend said, cannot show you all. Okay, I go to my daddy house. My daddy girlfriend said, the judge haven't passed the statement, so I cannot stay with my daddy. I was shocked, right? Then I said, so boy, where did you go last night? I slept in Bishan Park. With your school uniform? Yes, sir. Then why you come to school? You're really late for coming to more than half an hour with me because I still want to continue to study at Mr. Shaw. Whoa. Whoa. Straight away, I bring him to the canteen. I bought a, a, a cup of Milo and one maybe pound, I can't remember, bread, yeah. Then he asked me, Gavin, Mr. Chong, now is starting time and I cannot eat. Gavin, you know what I say to him? Lin Pei asked you to eat. I asked you to eat. You eat now. If you, I believe the whole night you eat. You know what I say? No, I only drink water. I went to the toilet to drink water. After the food, he finished the breakfast, I asked him to go back to school. I go back to the classroom. Huh? But this teacher told me not to go in. No, you just shut up and go in. And when my teacher asked me, I already told you, told him his state cannot. I said, before you find out why he was late, we'll talk about it in the staff room. But he has the right to go in to study. Agree or not? Because you are late, you still come to school, that shows that you have responsibility and duty. You know you're late, you're going to get punished. But at least the minimum, he or she should ask you why you're late. Not just because it dawned on the DM, that's it. The DM can be called the devil man, not the discipline. So I'm just sharing with you. So next time, guys, when you are employer, employee, please always look into both directions. So sorry, since you've mentioned to this, uh, so you will definitely not 100% always be punctual because there are other things, right? So next time when the DM touch you, touch you, DM or anyone listening here, Raymond or whoever, if they ask you, uh, why are you late? Never, never ask you a, a reason and give you a DM. You have to write, so sir, ma'am, why you didn't ask me, I was late? Ah, don't give me that kind of bullshit story, okay? I'm not interested to hear. Oh, really? Then will you be okay that you can speak to my mom then? And if my mom tell you that my mom is bullshit, then I got nothing to say. Then can we proceed to the principal office? No, serious or me, man? If you have the strong evidence, why? Excuse me. Not all teachers are good, and not all doctors are good. True now. You think when you hide Qing Zi Ma, then? all professionals should have hide Qing Zi Ma. I'm not saying that Uncle Raymond is 100% good. I'm so no good. Maybe sometimes I'm too aggressive or too much or whatever it is. But honesty is the most important thing. So I hope all of you are listening. You have the minimum rights. So I'm sorry. I don't think it's fair that you just give me the paper without me explaining whether it's genuine or not. No? So very simple, next time if you're late, take pictures due to what reason. Screenshot the message, mommy, I'm late already. I'm going to be get uh, a, a, a warning by my DM. Then you don't worry, girl. Okay, I will explain to your DM. Okay, because this is this. Then you screenshot, show straight away to your teachers, to the DM. I always believe on uh, Min and Wang Kang and Gavin and Raven. If a student are late and still want to come to school, I will really, really respect the students. You think what the song dahu, right? Uh, so it's to show your bravery. So you see, all right, thanks, Jia Ying, since you have mentioned this, okay? I hope uh this, I know you have been in your heart for quite a while already, huh? Very fed up. Huh? 
对了。So、hopefully today can take away your this kind of things. Ah,、uh. hey, don't deal with it, ah, Jia Ying. It's no point now. You're angry with your DM when your DM don't even know what happening and he's enjoying his life. Okay, and then you are here cook up and then kill your brain cell. Not worth it. Ah,、uh. not worth it. Okay, this is the one. Ah,、uh, take note, lah.、Uh. They call the ASEAN countries. Ah,、uh. I don't know, Raymond. You know, ah,、uh, some of you. Do you agree that this one last country? Ah,、uh, does it belongs to the ASEAN? Not sure.、Uh, But it's a country. It's a country. It used to be part of Indonesia. Yes. Yeah, but because of their independence, it broke away and they want to form. But now that I heard, it's still under observer. So only one to ten. Take note of this, ah.、Uh, if y'all know, then good. Okay, this is part of ASEAN. Ah,、uh, Gavin, have you heard of this? If you want chopsticks, it's easier to break, right? Yeah. Ah,、uh, if I ten chopsticks, is it easier to break, right? Unless you're Yeh Wen. Ah,、uh, yes. One chopstick easier. Ah, I'm tweeting. Ah, in Chinese, you see that the Tianlong Bao, Tianlong Ba Bu, Li Qiao Feng. Wow, how beautiful! Wow, if there's that Xiang Long Shi Ba Zhang, I think I will rule the world. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Too much. 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 No one person. If Magic got ten, Gavin want to bully uh 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 Raymond, uh, but Raymond got twenty the size of Uncle Raymond and 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 Gavin and Mei Mei, uh, nobody will bully him. You know why I call Mei Mei, uh, Dani 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 Dani. <laughs> okay, just kidding, uh. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, you realize I'm using the A B C D. I hope this will also help you in your English. Okay, Wan Kang, can you read to the class, please? This whole entire one is for you to read. Let's move on. Ah,、uh, so what is the definition of globalization? Globalization is about ability to broaden your country in many defined territories to exchange for goods and services in a formulated manner. For example, foreign exchange currencies through government involvement involvement in a holistic manner. Stop. Who say English cannot involve social study? Jia Ying, I I involve already, right? I use A to H, right? Two now, Raymond and Gavin, Mei Mei, Ted. So same thing, ah,、uh, student leaders, not student. So leaders, you can use A to H, ah,、uh, when you do your oral presentation. How do you describe your mummy? My mummy is the most awesome, beautiful, and most caring mother in my whole entire life. Definitely, he's she's one of the best. Who give me excellence care? Without her, I will fail in life. God is very fair to me because He sent a holy angel to love me. Wow, awesome, right? Surely, Wang Kang, right? Because Wang Kang, you, Mian Mian, and Jia Ying will be mother next time. I will believe you guys. Oh, sorry, Ah Mian Mian is not interested to get married. She she prefer girls, so fine. So the two of you, yeah, okay. You want to get married? Thank you. Because maybe the look. No, I'm not interested to get married. So you just your face tell me one your expression. Back to you, Wang Kang. Then, then what is the impact of globalization in your country or to the world? Ideally, it will be beneficial to all countries in one way or another, as it depends on how government implementing the foreign policies to show advantages or disadvantages. To impose tariffs, taxes, and trespasses, illegal immigrants. Stop. You realize that you treaty, right? Very simple. First thing is tariffs. That is a、uh, write down the FTA. Do you know there's this some country that are not allowed like North Korea, huh? Ah,、uh, Raymond and Gavin. North Korea definitely cannot trade in in. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. We don't use North Korea. Maybe we choose a country that is very anti-Americans, but he they have to the sound good example. Maybe Pakistan, ah.、Uh. Example, so Pakistan and me have to go through to Singapore, and then because Singapore have a free trade agreement to US. Okay, so Wang Kang, you ask me, okay, fine, fine. That is 大人的事，我才十六岁，关关我屁事啊？为什么要知道这个？哎 ，sorry 哈、哦， because one day you have to come out to work, and one day one of you might be implementing this kind of policies in your company. Okay, take note, ah. Okay, let's go on. Oh, sorry, and then the taxes, you know, right? GST, correct now. And then the what uh what you call the value added tax. You know when you go to you know when there's these tourists who come to Singapore, right? 
you buy a lot of things, then you say, how can I claim my GST, right? Refund GST, refund, right? They may, they may, then you go to airport, refund, correct? Right Transpasses, of course, we know ICA, you know ICA, right? The immigration departments to make sure that there's no illegal uh, immigrants to come in, to make sure Singapore is safe and sound. In fact, it's all the, all the country. So, Wanka, do you remember that time when Donald Trump was president, he wanted to build a wall with Mexico? You know about that, that one? And Qingwen, what like war is that? Where's the war now? <laughs> and then the, the Chinese people say, I, I'm going to tell Donald Trump, trust me, it's not easy to build a wall. I come from China. <laughs> get the joke, Gavin? You get the joke? Because the Great Wall of China took many dynasties to build. <laughs> You know, they are funny. Uh, sometimes the American people do things. Sorry. Uh, I still respect them, uh, but certain things. Next, last one. How can globalization help the world in 2020 and beyond? Just to show how it works, it will depend on how government, MNCs, and SMEs are going to use are going to use the 5T to help to keep abreast of political, economical, and social platforms. The last one is the most important if you can write it down because PESS will do with social study, history, geography. Trust me. If you are doing geography, you know that certain parts of the territories, the terrains, okay, the, the physical environments and the human factors environments and all these involve PES, economy and social. You know, right, in, in certain parts, if you want to take away the land because their land is belongs to their religions, it cannot take away. If you go to Jerusalem, uh, Wang Kang, you know what Jerusalem, right, the Holy Land, right? You know, they have been fighting between the Palestinian and the Israeli. They have been fighting until now. That land is from Islam, Muslim. That one is from Jewish. Well, wow, seriously, eh? is it from Jesus or is it from uh, Muhammad? Uh, I don't know. Only gods will tell. But I always cannot understand that, Gavin. If God is so powerful, why they let two religions to fight one piece of land? Just because of the Holy Land. Can't they share the Holy Land? You think about Raymond? Or moment you neighbor, you cannot say this corridor belongs to mine, this corridor belongs to you. True or not? Right? Can't we just have the hermu siang chu? Okay? So you realize what is MNC, ah, Wang Kang? Multinational companies. What is SME? Uh, I don't know. Right now, small, medium entrepreneur or enterprise. Okay? You know, iPhone now, um, they, they go to, to this China, right? They have all these small, small, you see, you realize uh, uh, one, one laptop, uh, certain parts are made by small company. That is called the small, medium enterprise. Okay, like Uncle Raymond now is running my own tuition, right? I'm a small, medium enterprise. True now. So those big ones like Learning Hub, all these things are a bigger sort of platform. Okay, so take note of political economy. Thank you. So chapter eight, what is globalization and what its main driving force? Raymond? Uh, what is globalization and what are its main driving forces? Globalization is the process with, through which ideas and activities of people in different parts of the world become interconnected, internetworking, interchange, inter entwined, and international, leading to greater independence between developments in the world and local developments. Uh, Gavin? Do you get someone for CNN America to come here and read? As kind of pronounced as the American slang said, and the connected and the networking interchange. Well, um, how is um, Raymond's from US is from California or from Texas or from New York? Oh, he just wants to me. I'm from New York. Oh, hi, New Yorkers, the big apples there, right? So I'm so sorry, this topic you have to slang a bit of American slang. So, so we have the interconnected meanings for country. It cannot end. I prefer to talk like Singlish. Uh. The American English very hard for me. <laughs> okay. So thank you. Your reading is awesome. I'm not sarcastic, Raven. Seriously, my salute to you. Very good. And I know some of the teachers of this. Sorry, Raymond. Can you stop slang? But sorry, the Raymond in the, the, the Raymond Miao and Raymond Shong here both like to slang. Okay, interconnected reading. I'll write down all these words. Uh. You will not find this word in your from your teachers, to be honest. Let me explain one by one. Interconnected is si si xiang lian. Did you hear chun wan shui tang? Ma? If your Chinese is good, you know what chun wan shui tang, right? The leaps and the what? Uh? 
what does called the leaves and the, the, the tea bite must together, correct? It, it, it help one another. Which country is interconnected? Women. Uh, as in which countries are interconnected? Yes. Uh, actually, a lot of, for example, a lot of countries in Europe, they are interconnected uh, by European Union. Or... Awesome, man. Damn it. That is will be internet working. Eh? Who asked you to jump my, my topic? Eh? Well done. Okay. Mian Mian, which country is interconnected? Why you ask me to go away? No, uh, I asked him. Um, uh, Why you ask me? I cannot go away. I go away. Uh, 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 Gavin, take over the, the class. Raymond, you take over. Why you ask your mommy to go away? Okay, uh, come, come, sit together. No problem. I welcome. Okay, joke aside. Uh, okay, Raymond. Interconnected, I like the EU, but there will be internet working because EU consists more, more than two countries. Uh, interconnected, I will use the word for Malaysia and Singapore. Agree? Like the, the people from Malaysia come to Singapore to work. So internet working will be more like ASEAN, the 10 countries. Interchange is not the, the, the bus interchange. Interchange means, uh, remember, um, recently got a lot of scammer, right, Gavin? So these Singaporeans ran away to another country. So the Interpol, you know the Interpol, the FBI, the International Police, uh, will interchange information to see that, oh yeah, these two scammers has been landed in Thailand. They know where they stay using that technology and then finally catch them, okay? Interchange, okay? Can I? I'm just giving an example. Intertwine is the most important. Uh. Intertwine is, for example, okay, Gavin, don't mind, uh, I use you and, you and your brother. Okay, the intertwine is the relationship, just uh, Blood is thicker than what? Women? Uh, blood is thicker than H2O. Well, you see, bloody hell, he used the chemistry to use H2O. They are used O for oxygen. Ah. Well done. Ah. Uh, who said blood is thicker than water? You are wrong. Ah. Blood is thicker than whiskey and beer. <laughs> Well said, well said. We are using the idiom. So, yeah. Gavin, if you have a, a medicine or a pills that can make your brother's son and your son more smarter, you won't give the pills to Raymond's, to Wang Kang, to Mian Mian, Jia Ying, or to Uncle Raymond, right? Make sense? Answer your question for intertwine. It's make good. Sense. Yeah, make sense, huh? Yeah. Uh, this intertwine also can do like in the plant, right? Biology, the plant, the money plant, like the intertwining, right? You see the money plant got no stem, strong stem. And what happened they do? They, they can, can get some something to twine it out and go out, right? And, and receive what? Receive sunlight, right? Okay. Uh, one kind, you know, before Singapore started their independence, uh, Lee Kuan Yew was very afraid of enemy attack Singapore, right? Remember? The communists and others. So he, he has no choice, huh? He had to bring Israeli soldiers to come and train Singapore. Wang Kang, do you know why? Not? Why don't uh, why do they call America correct not? Why America also defends the North and South Korea war? Right? Why don't they call Russia? Why don't they call China? Why don't they call others? Why Israel? Jia Ying, Raymond, any idea? The teacher never shared with you. During the 1960s, uh, this general of Israel, only one eye check, one eye, just eat it, it's not your eye. Okay? Israeli one tank, uh, T-A-N-K, uh, tank, uh, tank, uh, against 5-0 of Arab stand. Within six days, uh, the Israel won the six country in Middle East. Egypt, Syria, Iran, if I'm not mistaken. Egypt, Syria, Iran, and uh, like uh, six country, I really can't remember, six country that uh, you don't believe you're going to fight, you're going to find Israel war with them in the Middle East in 1960, in 1950. Okay, this is where when after World War II, all the Jewish uh, were went back to Israel to form a new country. And the flag is called the Star of David in the Bible. The Star of David will tell you why they use Star of David because they found a new found land, a land of their new beginning, new hope, new chapter. Isn't related to Singapore, Wang Kang? Make sense? Yeah, and because of that, Israel attacked the six countries that are mostly. 
So people say, why Singaporean Lee Kuan Yew take history of coming? Is it because Malaysia and Indonesia, they are Muslim? Lee Kuan Yew never say that. Because Lee Kuan Yew want to choose the best of the best. That's the word intertwine. So we Make sense now? Okay. So he wants to use the Israel, they already got the life experience to make the country independence. Hey, come here, come here, come here. Please come and train us. Wang Kang, I can tell you it's true. Uh, because your uncle, when I was serving my national service and my reservists, uh, the Israeli soldier really came down to Singapore and trained us until of my time. Uh, that was in 1990s. Uh, 19, late 1990s or early 2000. So it is true. Next, of course, international is your passport. True. So leading to a greater independence, you see. Right now, you cannot find all these words together in one of the SS or even in Sri Okay. Okay. Now I take away this. Okay. Mimin, can you read to the class, please? Hey, uh, next one, uh, sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, let's go. You practice your oral also, uh? let's go. I can't hear you, uh. you always speak your mind. I see if I can read your lips. Uh. I know you got a sexy lips, but please read, unmute, go. For the, when for the orals, there's no reading allowed. Sorry? For orals, there is no reading allowed. No oracle, no reading allowed. Then what do you do? Just like talking. Oh, talking, uh, yeah. But that's the thing, you see. Now your new system, uh, y'all don't have oral reading allowed, right? Very sad, no? Raymond, if not, you will score, no? Very sad, no? This is why MOE keep changing until I'm so fed up, seriously. Ay. Then how? Talking. Sorry. Maker do kai ting ko, zemo jiang hua. Confirm fear, liao lo, tui bu tui. Tui ma, Gabe. You know, one minute, ah. Uh, talk about computer. Gabe, can talk, no? Uh. One minute, non stop, right? Like. Cannot stop, one, uh, no? Oh. Me, me, I got one student test me, no? Uh. Really? Uncle Raymond, talk about urine and shit. With one minute. Oh, urine. Everyone need to urine. Everyone need to go to the toilet. It's called Mi Tian Gong. Everyone need to pass out the motion and waste the compound because we cannot have all the toxic inside our body. You see? My student tells me about urine and shit. No? You think I cannot answer? You need me anything, I can do it. You think what? Naka chi pu si ma? Zudo ran do shi yu ma? Zai gu dai ta yi jing yu chi pu si lai test ta de mentality. Because of naka chi pu si, ta jiu le ta yi tiao me. Because of chi pu si, cao cao kan ling yan xiang kan ta de hai zi. Now you understand there's a difference. Let's go. Improvements made in the size and speed of different modes of transportation and the development of if <laughs> sorry and the, and the development of efficient and integrated transportation infrastructure leads to globalization. Is it okay or like the whole thing? Of course, uh, this one only page six now. You're gonna read seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Any violence objection? No, right. Uh, one can't say yes, agree. Jia Ying also agree. Raymond agree. Gavin agree, all agree. Uh, later, you're not happy, you go to their house and, and find them, okay? Let's go. Singapore's sea ports and airports allows for the handling of uh, 6,700 flights per week and 140,000 14. vessels per week. You test my math, uh, 140,000. 14. Okay, carry on. Uh, 140,000 vessels per year, allowing for more people and goods to move in and out of Singapore. Fast more goods and people can be carried each trip and at far greater rates, encouraging more people to travel and to travel and the exchange of goods. Thus, people's activities are more increasingly linked to the global world, allowing for greater in interdependence globally. Thank you. Solution. Thank you. So this is transportation uh, that described. Okay, thank you. I don't need to, you to read number seven. If not, you read number seven, everyone will be start laughing like you. <laughs> the growth of 
MNCS refers to the recent trends of companies to develop beyond local markets and pursue international interests. MNCS such as Nestle, Nestle Unilever, Unilever and McDonald's drive globalization as they increase the economic um, interconnections between local people and goods to the international market. Stop, stop. Uh, I think the five of you, suddenly I think of this. Uh, can you name me uh, on your own uh, five MNC that you know? Five multinational. Okay, first one I will do Starbucks. Agree? Okay? Starbucks, Lenovo, Citibank, right? Citibank and uh, Ting Tai Fung. Right? Ting Tai Fung also got, as long as you are one country, and the last one will be KFC. Okay? So please, uh, five of you, please out uh, all the five. What, then you ask me, Raymond, hey, Uncle Raymond, why should I name five? Because it will help you in your SRQ. Okay? All right, let's go. An example of this would be Starbucks, which sources coffee beans from countries like Nigeria. Nigeria, yes. Nigeria. The beans are sourced from local farms in Nigeria, generating employment opportunities and sent to roasting facilities in the U.S. Thus, uh, the by by what by bilateral supplier and uh, bilateral bilateral supplier. interchange. Intertwine, interconnect the bilateral, okay? Mm. Uh, the so bi that, this one, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt you. This one bilateral is got to do the word the inter, interconnect, intertwine, inter exchange, okay? Okay. Bilateral supplier and consumer relationship is established between the two countries, increasing their interconnectedness. Ultimately, this establishes supply chains and create local markets and hence this lead leads to in inter uh, interdependent relationships between the various parties involved in running the MNCS, thus leading to globalization. Thank you very much. So MNC is very, very important to ensure that some um, business grow, especially Singapore. Definitely MNC. Last one, uh, Raymond. Uh, advancements in technology. Advancements in technology allow for greater access to the internet and increasing use of mobile communication. The increases in, in, in convenience for communication makes it more convenient for people to communicate all around the world. This allows for people to connect and communicate through messaging, video calls, and social media platforms, allowing for, allowing for the spread of ideas between different areas of the world. An example of this would be the collaboration of scientists worldwide on projects, allowing for the spread of ideas between the academia, acad academia of different countries. This thus links developments in multiple countries together, forming an interconnected in relationship due to the presence of international collaboration made possible by technology. Hence, this is an example of how advancements in technology can lead to greater globalization. Made by some weirdo called Conrad Sanders, so we're going to repeat or whatever. Please do uh, at least do it. <laughs> no, no, that one sees. I just purposely put that. Okay. <laughs> Why is that? Made by some weirdo called. He's the oh, that's not supposed to be. Uh, well done. I just I want to purposely put that. So, guys, this can be help you in your essay writing for English. Huh? And one of the factors, well read, Raymond, seriously, it's very sad that if they do not have oral readings, uh, you will score perfect 10. Seriously. I know some of your teachers say uh, uh, Gavin's or whoever one can do not slang or Jiaying, you have a bit of slang. Well done. I love it. And if any teacher says stop slang, it's like very weird. And Jia. Sorry. Uh, you mean the teacher never slang when they see people? The other people? I'm serious. I don't know. Maybe yes, maybe no. But it's okay. Be yourself. Be yourself. That is very important. You know, I got one student got a lot of very bad azimia. You know, azimia, right? The whole body rashes, very bad azimia. Seriously, no. You know, it's azimia or mimi. So, you okay, my school, uh, he sat in the middle. He was sitting in the Then I look at him. Hey, why? Uh? Oh, Mr. Shaw, nobody wants to sit with me. Because, what happened? 
because I asked him, you know what I do? I shake with his hand and you know, I literally sit down in the hall with him. Every less, every um, because it's a Christian school, uh, during chapel, during assembly, I will sit beside him. Seriously, I will sit beside him. Do you see a teacher sit on the floor in, in, in the hall? No, right? They will sit on the chair, right? Do not, right? I will go in, you know, and then sometimes, you know, when the students, uh, when the principal are uh, giving a speech so boring, uh, that can make you to sleep, uh, understand? Uh? I, one can. I think you may be one of them. Sometimes you're so tired, you don't sleep. So my, my job is to go there and, and make sure the students stand up in the middle of the hall just because they are sleeping. It's very funny, huh? Mount oh, Gavin, you know what I do? I will sit beside them. Confirm they will not sleep. Agree or not? And confirm they will not stand out in the middle of the hall. Okay. So thank you so much for your right. Fair, huh, Raymond? Right, fair, right? So at least, okay, it's one stone kill three birds. Alert, pay attention, and no need to shame him or her in front of the whole school. Now, I, I will stop here. I will continue for number nine because there's another very important task for all of you to do. Okay, next, I would like to share with you this one. Please um, pay attention. Uh, this one here. Okay, this one, I'm not sure about your school. Maybe your school, uh, uh, Mian Mian, uh, Wang Kang, you might have your own uh, different formula. So because today I'm going to do an exercise about inference skills, okay? Think of this. Inference got to do with FIEE. -E. You can take a picture, Jiayi, I'm not sure, Wang Kang, Mian Mian, and Gavin, and Raymond. I'm not sure. Do you have your own formula for inference skill, Jiayi? Uh, yes. Yes, uh, what is your formula? Like P-E-L. Why you P me? Like, uh, as in, uh, <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, so it's point evidence, uh, you know, yeah, elaboration. Oh, you're late, my dear. <laughs> I don't like it's supposed speech. to be I E E. I E E, yeah, a lot of I E P E E P E L. Don't know what, lah. P, so I, yeah, P P E E. Point explain with elaboration. Some of the school use that, but I use P. Okay, very simple. I, I always want to do extra. We, you know, why, uh, Jia Yi? 我没事做吗？吃饱没事做加那个，为什么要做 extra？ you know why I keep calling your name? No? Not because I want to attack you. I want you to bring out the. I want you to. I want to train your brain to use all the ideas from that. You might you remember because you got not not good in all sources, right? Right. So I want to train your brain to do all these things. So straight away, you know, oh, this source A, B, and E is no good. C and D is good. Get me now. Uh, why ah? Uh? Silent night, holy night, waiting for Tiaing to give me the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh? It's to prepare you, okay, uh, okay I tell you, uh, it's to prepare you for higher learning, A level and university. Uh. Okay, those are uh, Raymond and Mayman, the IE or PE. It's only for academic. Uh. So I always like to go one step higher. Now to prove it, whether how it works, for example, later we'll do that example, uh, okay? What does the structure tell you about standing collectivization? Okay, Gavin, it's good for you uh, because I love history so much. Uh, so I use this in history and essence. Okay, sorry for those of you who do not know who is standing now, uh, it's not my cousin. <laughs> Confirm this one, not my cousin. <laughs> sorry, uh, Hitler is my cousin. Yo, Hitler. <laughs> okay, what does this source tell you about Sinhalese government? These are all the OSS topics. I've been using it. So very simple, focus. Read the questions. What does it require you to infer on? Remember, Jiayi, just now the picture that showed Uncle Remus who holding the, 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 the awards, right? What does it infer you? The first thing comes to your mind, is it real? Is it you get somewhere or is it really true? How do I know it is? So you infer. What impression does the source give you about the focus? Okay, evidence. Support your answer. Remember, children, Every source must be evident. You're like Sherlock Holmes, you're like a lawyer, you're like a doctor, you're like a judge. Huh? Doctor needs evidence to mark Gavin. So, you no, know, doctor give the wrong, wrong oh, sorry, uh, Mr. Tan, you got cancer. Later, if after one month, hey, you have no cancer. Like, this is your pain. Huh? You're a doctor, I've already died. I thought I'm going to die. I've already given it all to people. Now, if I don't have money, how do I do it? I thought I'm going to die. I thought I'm going to die. Now, I'm going to die. Okay? So, elaborate. Uh, very important. So Gavin, if your son can't tell you, uh, 
your son is only uh, seven years old, okay? Primary one, uh. Daddy, I need $50. So how you ask him? Never mind. You go to daddy credit card then take $50 enough now. I give you 500. You won't do that, right, Gavin? Come on, right? You will ask, you will, you will focus to him. Why you need $50? Oh, then uh, because my teacher want us to donate to old folks home. Then you must infer, show me. Did the teacher say, that? oh, it's in the parent support group, the parents group chat there in the email. Then you check, oh yeah, true. Huh? That one confirmed will be the reliable, right? Then evidence. But, but the teacher never mentioned $50. They, they only say mention donation, right? At your own will. Why are you so particular with $50? Ah, then you ask him to explain, right? Okay, Tima? Ah, Daddy, actually, yeah, you're right. I only want to donate $10 to the charity. Oh, then what about $40? Uh, after donating, we go and pay the visit. Uh, I want to spend ten dollars with my girlfriend. Oh, your son premier one got girlfriend already. Steady. Oh, oh, man, man, put put so ah, you see who be you see. Okay, so they say yeah. But after makan already, yeah, uh, I still want to bring her to watch a movie. Oh, and your son want to bring the the girl to watch a movie, and the movie is Ari Samo. Huh? Er tong bu yi. So that's it. Certain evidence will not support you, ma. Kevin. Now no, you get an idea. No? I'm just giving an example uh, to make it more fun. Uh. All right. So take note of this one here. You must always ATQ or Jiang Wang Kan. ATQ. You, okay, I'm so sorry. Uh. Can I have a vote? Uh? Because this will last you for a few months. Don't argue with me. Uh. Raymond, can we start with you? Did your teacher tell you it's only one infer or two infer based on the five marks inference question? Wait, five, then uh, it should be one. Uh. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Raymond, help me to gather the vote from all of us here, okay? One, uh, you say one in first. Uh, Gary? One or two? It's a five marks. Quick, uh, one or two must think so long, eh? Mm -hmm. uh... Uh, two. Two, uh. two uh. you don't want to be Wang Kang? Two. Two. Uh, I tell you, uh, all of you, uh, if it's in somewhere in July and still have uh, something wrong with it, uh, in the split second, you must tell me one or tell me two. Okay, you say one, uh, Wang Kang, one. Uh. Two. Uh, you say two. Two, uh, two, two, one. Jain? Two. Okay, Min Min? Wait, do you call me just now? Yes. Uh, two. Two. Hey, surprisingly that all the years I've been teaching, uh, a lot of my students will say one only. I'm surprised that all of you choose two. No? And honestly, my, if you were to give me one, uh, I will not give you five marks. Uh. I got students arguing with me, but it's answer to a question already, Uncle Raymond, why you still give me three marks or four marks? In my SPQ, I tell you, unless your answer is so super good, I'll give you four marks. Number one. Number two, because I'm not the actual marker, I will not give you full marks unless it's super good. Number three, the reason I don't want to give the student full marks because I want to encourage the student to write even better, more deeper, more in-depth. By right, it's supposed to be two, but I already cross reference to check with all my ex-teachers, okay, last time and now, continually checking. It's nothing wrong to give one, Raven. But the second one is your contingency plan. One can make, make, make sense. So if plan A fail, you still got bad plan B back up. Get it? Then TIA, I got students say, Uncle Raymond, but I really cannot find the second inference, no? TIA, don't worry. If the teacher were to give your inference, uh, sure got at least two to three inference based on that sense. Trust me. Okay? It's whether, are you there, TIA? Uh, yeah, because you're frozen and suddenly. Turn. So you must take note of one count. Whether if you take put two, the best is two. Okay. This one I don't want to talk about CMount because this is a six mark with purpose. So I just stop here first. Okay. So next round, I will share with you this one here. Where's my phone?
So we've done this already, right? Okay, we've done this. Chapter three, what is globalizations? We've done this already. We talk about this all the way. Yes, yes. Okay, this one, take note. Huh? This is my, my eye syrup for all the sources. You can take a picture, but please do not share. Uh, I'm very proud to say since 2015, uh, this formula has been created since 2015. Okay, let me explain one by one because not enough time, but uh, why it called eye syrup, really? I stand for inference skill. Okay, just a quick one. You take a picture later on, you can go and look through. I stand for inference skill and C stand for SEMA or comparison skill. And R will stand for reliability skills. Okay. And the U will stand for usefulness skills. And the PT will stand for purpose and tone. Okay, Kevin? Good, right? So you know when you're doing your SPQ, you might have ice syrup. You know it's a syrup, huh? You know when you eat ice cream, you put your syrup in there. Uh. So if Ice cream, right, Raymond? Make sense? You know, you, sometimes you add syrup. Uh. Actually, that thing is very cool. Have you ever had Guilin Gao? Have you ever had Gao? Oh, yes. Uh, it's very cool, right? Uh, it's okay. La. It's like tasteless. Actually, for you and me, uh, we should take your Guilin Gao. Guilin Gao. Pai-du. It's very good. It's very good. It's very good. You see that day, my, you see my finger still got a line here, right? I just went for a steroid injections because my finger can't bend. You know, the, the injection with the nail, needle was so long. I had to inject here. The doctor had to inject here. So you see my, you see my finger? Not very bad. Huh? And my right, my, my right finger also. So in, injection here. So uh, that is because I had to, to get a, 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 the light duty because next month I'm going for my police combat training. So I'll be excused from that. I'm very sad. I can't go for my training. But I'm still going to see I want Chinese medicine, Zhong Yong Zhong Yao TCM to Tiao Zhen because Chinese medicine is herbs, my people think herbs, right? It takes a longer uh so it's you should know all this. So I'm using ice syrup to tien to the SVQ. You see the thing to make the thing nice. Okay, even think of Kuguama. I hate to eat kukua, seriously. So how to make the kukua nice? You use the egg, right? And sometimes you bake certain things to make it nicer. Ah, same here. Make sense, ah? So everything, I always think of how to make it more interesting for my student to remember. So it is ice syrup. Please take note, nah. you can go and look at it. Nah. This will be very, very super useful for all of you. Okay, I will explain one by one. So this one, I really explain inference. Next one will be sima. So all these ice syrup are, uh, uh, Kevin, this will also be very useful for history. Huh? Okay, take note. Huh? Okay, now let's go for this question now. Gavin, ready? Wait, please. Yeah, ready. Okay. Section A, SBQ. Source A, a cartoonist view of the relationship between China and the Philippines. So, can you tell me, uh, children? I want all of you to really pay attention and do it. Huh? Okay, is it plus, is it positive, is it negative or neutral? So Jiaying, once you have these three, uh, this, this is like a full so, uh, for every source, uh, you no need to worry whether we're all source coming through today. Right, you just know which is positive or negative. Then you can say source A, B and E are positive, C and D are negative. So quick one, Raymond, do you think it's positive, negative or neutral? Negative. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, good. I want this kind of thing so we won't waste time. Thank you, the two of you. Wang Khan? Negative. Kevin? Negative. See, uh, Jia Ying? Negative. Okay, why all of you say negative? Which part of this picture bloody hell tell you is negative? Take note, huh? Mian Mian, this one only from my lesson that can help you in your visual graphic text, in comprehension, you know, paper two called visual graphic text, right? Ah, so when you think about don't cut four corners, that bang, that bang, that bang, and this one nothing. Please take note one kind Raymond and Jiaying. For now on, if you're using visual graphic text in your English paper too, always use the four corners. Confirm, I will tell you, I confirm, I can tell you, 
it may not be 100%, at least 90% will come out in questions. Trust me. You know why not? Because if you don't believe now, you're going to look through all the magazine with all the brochures. Uh, all the four corners sure got information to give you. So telling by looking, uh, so are you telling me all the sources with pictures, we always take the four corners? Yes, there is a saying, Jiayin, do not cut corners. Now, these four corners don't make sense really, right? And Uncle Raymond is also doing marketing for my company. So I do uh, sales and report. I have to do, uh, oh, uh, read Singapore sales, uh, Christmas sales. Then I have four corners. Who to call? Usually at the corner, they'll put there for which company, the telephone number contact, right? So this corner here, what? You see, this guy purposely think put down. And purposely, the, this, this, this speaker is that side here to this side. Like. It's not to this side here. Like. They say, I order you to leave immediately. That Philippine flag. This is China flag. Right? Hey, don't laugh or one can't. You know, there are some people can't even identify. Huh? This one's this one China flag, man. I thought Vietnam. Like. They are asking why. Uh, you know, one can't, you know, they say, oh, because I always see their t-shirt got one big star. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, right? There are some people who wear a t-shirt with one big star in front. Yeah. <laughs> See? So be careful. Huh? Must be eye for detail. Your eyes must be like hot eye. See very clearly. Then, why is this train so big? This is not small, right? Right? Okay. 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 And then once you're done, uh, if, if you are doing visual graphic, uh, uh, Gavin, Gavin, stop playing with your sing and I tell you, sing and play, don't, don't disturb Gavin. Uh. So once you're done, use an eraser to erase off. You, you heard of this, the rule of thumb. The rule of thumb, right? You place it at the this part here. Uh, you cut. Confirm it with Chongda. All right, let's go. Gavin? Study source A. What does the cartoon tell you about the Sparty Islands dispute between China and the Philippines? Explain your answer using details of the cartoon. So Five to, thank you. Sorry, thank you. So you got to do with the interconnect, intertwine, right? Internet working, right? So if Philippines is being disturbed by China, which country will come to help Philippines? Is it the ASEAN country, Wankan? The Singapore, Malaysia, remember the ASEAN country? Ah, so they are the represent a hey, if your brother is being bullied by someone, of course, you as an elder brother will come and, and hey, hello, excuse me, why are you bullying my brother? All right, so a quick one. How are you going to infer? Start doing now, huh? please, right now. Maybe you print the paper, huh? You didn't print, huh? So next time you have a printer at home, print this one out and then do it will be easier. So what does the cartoon tell you about the Sparty Island? Using, using the FIEE, yeah? so this is a five marks question, okay? So what is the focus point? What can you infer from this picture here? So can I say like, um, there, there are tensions between the China and Philippines? Okay, on what ground? Mm, like, I saw them like, you know, like arguing like the Philippines official wanted, uh, like, ordered the, the China official to leave immediately and the China official, like, looked very shocked. So I think... For your student performer appraisal for today, under the creative, you will score five star for that. Well done. Okay, me? you are right. Yes, yeah. yes. No, uh, you are Mimin, right? You mean got another call Mimin, ah? Uh? Oh, uh, that's my okay. nickname, ah. Uh. Okay. Yeah, Let's go through this. You are right, but on what ground? They are fighting on what ground? Territory. T effect. Remember territorial dispute. Ah, you uh, imagine Mami, then Titi Chang, Koko Ta Wo. Then you must ask on what ground you ni ma ta 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 ni, tui bu tui? Tui bu tui? Yung Koko Chang wo de girlfriend. Then, oh, oh, then you just gonna tell him, you men sit down, two brothers to solve it. Mommy may have time. Mommy has to go to the gym. Okay, you get the ideas. Uh. On what ground? Dispute, okay? You must be very specific. So then, how? 
Right, Raymond, agree? So, for example, now you're hungry. Then what you want to eat? There's a lot of variety of food, right? So, Raymond, you say, hey, bro, come, let's go and eat hungry. The first thing, uh, then you say, hey, Uncle Raymond, I'm so hungry. Uh, come, let's go. Then you ask, uh, Uncle Raymond, go where? Uh? Go where eat? Uh? Go where eat? Uh? Go eat? Uh? Then, if you're sensitive, can you eat beef or you can eat nuts? What do you do? Correct. Uh? So, you must ask for deeper meaning. Well done, uh, Mian Mian. Uh, Wang Kang, what is your answer? Um, uh, China is purposely um, ignoring Philippines' orders to leave the island. So is that, that this, that this thing, right? Yeah. Uh, so how are you going to say in English and put it inside your, your SBQ, SBQ inference? Mm. You use the word ignore is correct, but you must say it's ignoring using the loud header as fecal. Okay. Uh, 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 the way of hearing, I can't remember this. If there's a word for that, suddenly, sorry. Turning away, refuse to listen attentively. Uh, you must use the adjective to describe. Okay, use the word attentively. True, huh? right? And it's uh, in a very high ground. That means they are not on the same ground to negotiate. People say, if you want to negotiate, you must be on the same ground. True now. Huh? Uh. Any more, Wang Kang? Uh, no. Uh, Raymond? Well, I pretty much will agree. Yeah. No, no, you must have your own stand, huh? don't mind. All I, right. So that we share, huh? fair. Huh? Okay, Raymond? Mm. Like, do I give out my entire answer? Yes, just say what you say. Because sometimes when you, even you have the same answer with one kind of mean, mean, you might have certain things that they don't have or you have. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm not done. Just tell me, tell me. Whatever you have. All right. So uh, this, uh, the, this cartoon tells me Ooh. that the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the Sprati Islands dispute between China and Philippines is intense. This can be seen from the source where it, sh uh, where it shows that the uh, uh, the Philippines official and the chi uh, Chinese official is clearly not uh, uh, how do you say that? not having a, a fair negotiation over the issue, which uh, which can be seen further seen from the source where China is clearly ignoring the Philippines orders by putting its head towards another direction from where the Philippines official is trying to speak at. And this can also be seen from uh, from the the immense dis difference between the two uh, the two what do you call that? Okay, the two ships, whereas the China's ships is it was humongous if even military uh military uh how to say uh yeah, it's equipment military, such as right. cannons yeah on, the on, cannon uh, which is uh which is actually a sign of aggression and while well, philippines only used a small boat uh, in compare in comparison which yes, uh, that's pretty much i have for now full marks because you use the two inference this also can be supported if you are using the second inference this can be further supported Okay, uh, you, if you want to use the second inference, this can also be supported. Well done. Thank you. Very good. Kevin? Hey, the, the cartoon tells me that uh, from the Spartianus dispute, uh, China had the, and Philippines have a very unhealthy relationship. Mm. Uh, you cannot uh, interconnect, huh? Uh, yeah, the word I ah, uh, uh, is it they cannot interconnect? Use the I ah, uh, so you are not lost of word in your SBQ already. Yes, my dear, carry on. Okay, uh, this can be seen from the source that uh, the Chinese have a much larger boat than the Philippines. I like the word humongous, uh, Raymond. I love the word, seriously. Uh, yeah, and and so, so they have a uh, so China is using its uh, military power to just overwhelm the Philippines. You can use the word military what? advantage. Well done, Kevin. Military yeah. advantage, competitive advantage. Right now, right the word competitive advantage. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, I never teach the four of you. Uh, it's Kevin is the one who give you the word competitive advantage and military advantage. Well said. Hi, Yuma. 
uh, and and the Philippines is just trying to stop China, but just but China is just just plain ignorant. Then you must add this word: there is no way the Philippines can stop the impending. Right now, the word impending, I M P E N D I N G, to stop the impending or what? Taking over the Spati Island territory. They cannot be stopped by the government and the government. They are not the government. The government, the government, and the government take over the Spati Island. And honestly, ah, sorry, this is recording of Mei Mei. I don't mind China take more territory. Not because you are China or Chinese. Ah, I'm a Chinese. My ancestor from China. Okay, I'm a Chinese. Do I look like alien to you, Mei Mei? The way you look at me. Hmm. <laughs> oh, you look like Singaporean. Uh. I'm a Singaporean. I'm a Singaporean oh. Chinese. You're right. But my ancestor from China, okay, from Putian and from Santou. My father is Taiwan. Ah. South Taiwan. I've heard. Um, because your generation is different from my generation. My generation is Zhou Xian generation. Okay, so joke aside, ah, I think you look at the Yap Yap Wars, you know, ah, that China gave Taiwan to Hong Kong and Hong Kong to Taiwan, right? So I think it's um, if it's uh, PDP, ah, that Taiwan gave Taiwan to Hong Kong and Hong Kong to Taiwan, right? Um, if it's uh, truly belongs to China, then we should take back. Agree not? I'll give it. Your is just like you see, we gave the China Republic to someone to buy. It's not right, ah. Okay, now back to you. Thank you. Any more? Sorry, my dear. No more. I'll give it. Uh, no more. Thank you, sir. Jiaying, Jiaying. Sorry. Um, I can infer from the cartoon that uh. That China um has more power than the Philippines, because um, um because from their um their uh, okay fine um their boat um we can we can see that China is stop, stop. Not don't use the boat please you're telling the examiner you have limited vocabulary they are they are military warship. Military warship is. Um, hey, don't forget, ah, social study Marcus is also English teacher or something, right? Agree. Ah, so you must be careful of your choice of words. But it's okay. We learn from you, okay, my dear. Carry on. The military warship then. Um, the military warship, um, is more mighty. More mighty. <laughs> more mighty than the Philippines. Um. Boat. Then you can use the word boat, really. Okay. Ah, I now know what is your issue for SPQ and SRQ. You know what? Your impress and expression. So it's just practice more. Agree not? Okay. But usually I can write. It's just like I cannot say. I don't know. It's it's hey, just sorry. easy I mean, to write on paper. No, no, telling nothing wrong. A lot of students can write very well, but when it comes to talking, 全部都是金口不开口 Then sorry, yeah. In the real world out there, ah, ninety percent in school is writing, ah, oh, ninety percent in school, but in real world, how Raymond you agree, ah, it's ninety percent talking. Let's be honest. You're going to meet clients, you're going to meet bosses, you're going to meet a lot of people. You need a lot of talking. If you can't talk well, I'm so sorry, not you, ah, any one of you here, ah, good luck to you. Okay, seriously, because I'm also running business with my bosses. And we meet a lot of people. Even I was working last time in in one of the big company. We had to go to the bank of like Switzerland, DBS banks, D banks, all the big firm, ah, and all these are Amo. You know, it's Amo, right? Jai, the Lao Wai. So Raymond, so tell me, what are you gonna have here for today? Ah,、uh, actually, we have a lot of things to sell you. Wang Kang, I tell you, oh my gosh, this he's selling a moron here. This guy is stupid, right? Ma Jai, so ah,、uh, no need. 不要忘记哈、哦，安哥瑞曼也是在 training for your oral practice， like your your you know your conversation 很重要。我们不可能每次都是给了我们 ，I'm not racist here， 别懂啊。我们不可能每次都是给老外做 CEO 的嘛，对吗？我们华人也是如水风水如流转，你们是真的投对胎的。嘉义在五十年前，你的奶奶都没有这个钱的，对不对哈？是啊，好加油。OK， what else？ 
Yes, Jane. Uh, um. Oh, okay. From uh, from it. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, from. I'm alive. I'm alive. Um, in the cartoon, it says, um, from the Philippine official, it says that, um, I order you to leave immediately, but like, um, it's in, uh, um, when the person saying this sentence is, um, is like shivering because, um, when they see the, the military from China, they will feel that they are not as, um, powerful as China and then, um, Fell on death, yes. Oh, yeah, that, huh? What do you say? Fell on death, yeah, and it's shivering. That means that it's not mighty. Yeah, thanks to Jia Ying, uh, when you say when it's talking, that it's not listening, so it's felt on death, yes. Right, carry on. Um, and China is just, um, like using a using a telescope. No, no, it's not a telescope. No. I can't remember what is that. It's a kind of a it has a name for it. Like a hearing aids. Uh, you can if you're not sure, you say uh, using his hearing aids turning to the other direction is what Raymond has mentioned. Okay, to the oh, wrong direction. Yeah. And then um saying what? So they, they just like ignore. ignore the um how like the Philippines is being small. Right now we ignore this. The plea. That means they are asking for you know, the word plea. Okay, right now, ignore the plea, all right? Right now, this word. That means I totally ignore the petitions. You know, it's petition, uh, the against it petitions. Okay, very good. Okay, let's go. Any more? No, uh, okay. Kevin, read the answer. I do not, I will give this answer to you guys, but can you read three and four? But I want you, all of you, to submit this homework by your own handwritten handwriting. If you still do not know my handphones, you only don't send to Google Classroom. I will not receive it. Huh? I only send email or my handphone. Okay, let's go. Uh, Gavin? Can we start in number three? Okay, I will not want to cover L1 and L2. Uh. By now, all of you, wh whatever your answer, the five of you, well done, it's already L3 already. Uh. Uh, Raymond, you hit the jackpot of five already. Your answer is much better than my answer. If you don't believe, no, seriously, you should do this, Raymond. Well done. Raymond. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Okay, back to you, Kevin. This cartoon tells me, this cartoon tells me that the dispute between China and the Philippines is very difficult to resolve. This is because China is a stronger power compared to the Philippines, and this unequal relationship makes it difficult for the Philippines to discuss this issue with China. This can be seen in the cartoon when China is depicted as a huge power represented by the big ship, while the Philippines drawn by as a small tiny boat. Thank you, Jiaying Jackpot for L3. All of you L3. The first person who talk me man, you already more, even though your answer is not L5. Uh, okay, five marks. Uh, the way you talk and present is considered L5, L4 already. Well done. No, I want people to you know, is it? Like you don't say two times two, you must take five minutes to think of an answer or five seconds to think of two times two is four. It's just like two times two, half a second for that kind of thing. And you did it well, maybe. Okay, carry on. The last L, uh, L phone answer. The dispute has. I, I read, right? Um, uh, person, uh, Gavin, Gavin. Gavin, L4. Okay. The dispute has resulted in relations between the two countries becoming tensed and confront confrontational. An example, the dispute has brought about very tense relations between China and the Philippines, and this has resulted in a climate of defiance between them. Yes, that means they cannot interconnect, they cannot internetwork, they cannot intertwine. 
they cannot as uh, inter exchange the resources. As a result, they are now uh, become what at logger heads. You know, as logger heads like si tui tou, xie xia lai, logger heads, L O G G E R and heads. Xie xia lai, they are now at logger heads. They are now they cannot see eye to eye using idioms. They cannot see eye to eyes. Raymond, when you kind enough to write the words, they cannot see eye to eyes. They are logger heads. They cannot come into a very fair and equal agreements right now. All this. Raymond, confirm your answer is better than mine, right? Hmm. Not mm, confirm. Not confirm. I'm telling you. So if you can write your answer like that and send to Uncle Raymond, your answer will be one of that sample here already. I'm I'm serious. Okay. If you think I'm just bullshit, lah. Honestly, I asked the four of them. Raymond, is the his answer good or just not? Yeah. Okay. Then you can now wait. Yeah. Wang Kan, do you think his answer is good? 哇，他很厉害。我讲他很好，等一下我跟他回家。我讲不好，等一下安哥里面又讲我。哎呀，我真的是左右为难 ，right？ 王刚。<笑> okay, serious joke aside, is it good? Is answer? Yes, ah,、uh, two. Jiaying. Yes, Kevin. Yeah, see. So now, Raymond, you, I need you to put into words. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for this one here. So I really put the answer. This is just a sample. Now you realize that、uh, um, where is the F I E E, the focus point, the inference, this one, and then the example, and then the explanation. Do you ma? One come. So、uh, that's why I use F I E. So whatever you using your P E E or I E E, I leave it to you, Ah Mei Mei and Ah、uh, Raymond and Wang Kang and Gavin and Jia Yi. You want to use my F I E E or you want to use your school one? I don't know. I I leave it to you. Okay. My aim is two inference, which you all have done it. Okay, so just stop here. Ah,、uh, I have another SS student set three to ask me about citizenships and governments. So I will answer him later on. I will stop.